Hi, Paul here with Diode Dynamics, and today I'm really excited to show you a comparison or shootout of the popular Rocklight options on the market today. Now, we're proud to assemble our Rocklight here in the US, and that's our Stage Series LED Rocklight. This was introduced over a year ago, and it's been really successful due to the power output level and the features and functions it provides. But there's quite a few rock lights to choose from, and we wanted to take a look at those here today. You might think a rock light is simple, right? It's just a small pod you can put basically anywhere, and it's just gonna shine a bit of light anywhere extra you might need it. But as you'll see here today, there's quite a few different features and functions you should be aware of, and a huge difference in the output levels between different brands. Now we're gonna go through each one of these options and talk about the price point, the materials used, the styling and overall build. We're gonna look at the colors that these come in as well as if you can change out the lenses. We're gonna talk about that white color temperature to see how that stacks up. And really importantly, we're gonna look at the seal method, which is different with these different models. We're also gonna look at the wiring and the connector type, as well as the mounting and mounting accessories that may be provided. Now that's really important because rock lights can be a chore to install. You wanna make sure you pick a mounting solution that's gonna work for your needs. For the rock lights, we're looking at total lumen output and lumens refers to light shining in every direction. For rock lights, that makes sense because we're really just trying to illuminate small areas just like we would with a basic light bulb. That's why we're using lumens instead of intensity. And finally, we're gonna look at the actual beam pattern and where the light's spreading. It's important to get a really good coverage so that you can fill in small spaces, whether that's a wheel well or directly under the vehicle, we wanna really spread out light far with these rock lights. So let's get started with our first options. They're gonna be Amazon or eBay specials, but let's take a quick look. So when looking at both of our cheap options here, we can see where they got the styling kind of inspiration. All of them have that same style. And you might think they're gonna work just as good as the brand names. And obviously I'm here to tell you that's not the case. The cheapest one we got for just 10 bucks, and you might think, great, I can put a lot of them on my truck, probably not what you wanna put on your ride. First of all, the build quality on this, it's not gonna be very good. It's not really sealed at all, it's just screwed shut with a very, very thin seal. From there, the color of this white output is 7300K, a really bluish, just not a great color at all to actually light up. And you can see one of the problems with this is that the LEDs aren't even centered under the lens. It's like lowest effort possible to make a rock light and this is what you get. And you'll see that with the output pattern. It's actually slanted upwards because one of the LEDs isn't even in the middle. And basic side mounting, like I said, inspired from a pretty obvious other brand. These will run at about three watts, which is gonna give us around 200 lumens. The coverage or the beam pattern is gonna be about a 90 degree circle. Not terrible, but not great. Now, looking at the next one here, again, this is a little bit more expensive, about 15 bucks a piece. The color is better on this one at 6600K, a little cool, but not too bad. And you can see they did center all nine LEDs in here. It's just still gonna be running at about three watts though, which is gonna provide the same 200 lumen output. And this one has an issue because they use all those LEDs, it can't spread out as well, only about an 80 degree spread, really not very good coverage. Again, with these cheap lights, you're gonna get some light output. It's not gonna be a nice white color. They're probably not gonna last because they're not sealed or built very well. And the pattern, the coverage is not gonna be very good. So you're probably gonna need to add a lot more to your truck to get the same results. Also, take a look at how the wiring is on these. You don't get too many accessories. Everything's gonna be bare wire leads. You really gotta figure out yourself. Not a lot of mounting accessory options. It's gonna be a pain. It's gonna be cheap, but it's not gonna be a very good result. Moving right along, we look at our first brand name rock light, which is the KC Highlights Cyclone. 2.0. Now this is the second version and they've made a lot of improvements, but they were the originator of this circular style. What's cool about that is it allows you to put a mounting screw right through the center, just one screw to mount it in place, and it gives you a unique look with a nice coverage and overall build. Now with the 2.0 version, you can also interchange these lenses. As you can see, we've got a couple of different lens colors here, and this allows you to basically change them on the fly anytime you'd like. Now, the interesting potential downside of that is that this is actually where the light's sealed as well. If you take this off, there's no other protection on there. And if you're gonna be interchanging those yourself with just this clip feature, there's definitely a chance that that seal might not hold up over time. It's a good build lamp, but in terms of overall protection, 
just those simple O-rings might not provide the length or durability that you really are looking for from something that's gonna be under your vehicle getting a lot of wear and tear. Now for mounting this rock light up, again, you've got that unique center mount, but they offer a range of accessories, including a surface mount adapter and a magnet adapter. It's a pretty interesting option. For wiring on this, you do have just the basic terminals to where you need to wire those up yourself or use at least those terminal connectors there. Now, in terms of performance for the KC Cyclone, it's pretty good. We have a nice step up in power from our cheap options, almost five watts in our testing, and you get 450 peak lumens. That does come down as this heats up, but with a rock light, if you mount that to metal, you might be able to maintain the peak output because again, LEDs will get dimmer as they warm up. If you have this mounted to metal, you might be able to keep that brightness higher. It's always a good idea when you're installing to go to metal if you can. So this starts at just under 500 lumens and it'll drop down to about 400 over time. The coverage of this is also really nice because we've got the LEDs all the way around and a nice flat top, we're able to shine at 110 degree beam pattern as you can see. Overall, it's a great circular rock light if that's the style you'd like, and these are not gonna break the bank. Now the next brand is gonna be Profile Performance or Morimoto. We have the Profile Performance version. These have recently been rebranded as Morimoto, and based on the specs online, they look like they're about the same product with that different branding. But these are gonna be about the same price point as the KC, about that $30 to $32 a piece mark. And as you can see, it's pretty clear where they took some of that design inspiration from as well. So these do have a couple differences from the KC. First of all, they are quite a bit thicker um, in this kind of a bucket design. And they've also added these side mounting points as well. So you can either go through the center or go to the side. These don't have any type of changeable lens, but you can get them in a number of different colors. You can also get a couple accessories, including a magnet mount adapter as well. Now these are gonna run at about three and a half watts, which is only slightly higher than our cheaper options. So you're only gonna see about 220 lumens of output. And one big issue with these is that the white version, we actually tested at about 11,000 Kelvin, which is just a really, really bluish white color. That might not be as much of a problem if you want a color, but if you're going for white, probably not the option for you. Another interesting thing about these lights is the top lens design. As we showed, the KC Highlights has that circular top, but it's flat which allows light to shine out really easily. These have kind of a unique uh, texture to the top of this lens, and that actually splits the light as it comes out of the rock light. The result is that you get kind of a center dot, which is only about 80 degrees, and then you have almost a kaleidoscope effect around the edge. Now, that's definitely interesting, but again, when I install rock lights, I want just a nice even coverage, even illumination all around, and this lens design really kind of makes that difficult. Next up, we've got a well-known name, and that's Baja Designs. Now, Baja's been making rock lights for some time, and here we've got the newest version. There's been a couple updates over the years. One thing to note is that this is a big step up in price point. It's $67 a piece. These are over twice the cost of the last couple we looked at. But this might be what you're after. You can see the overall build is this billet, uh, I guess aluminum construction here, just really all metal with the encapsulation on the back to fully seal the back against moisture. The only thing I would note is that we still have this lens on top with a standard O-ring. If there's no way to allow this light to depressurize as it heats up and cools down, with that air inside, we're gonna continue putting pressure on the O-ring. Just something to be aware of um, because the LEDs themselves are not fully encapsulated even though the back is really stout. For the mounting of this unit, you can see we've got the side tabs, and that's really about it. There's a couple mounting accessories, but no magnets or anything like that. These are available in a number of colors, but there is no interchangeable lens feature. And as you can see, the wiring is a simple bare wire setup. Now for performance, the Baja Designs rock lights ran at 4.3 watts in our testing and provided 245 peak lumens. The color temperature of these were 5200K, now that's a neutral white color that Baja Designs is really known for. Now with the way this is designed with that small lens in the center, we do only get 95 degrees of coverage with this light, but it's a pretty even output. Now the next option is the Rigid Industries A-Series rock light, which of course is that kind of standard universal style of rock light, really originated that style that many others have copied. But that does come at a cost. At over $100, this is by far the most expensive unit we're looking at today. Now, the Rigid Industries light does have the classic oval styling 
with side mounting points, and you have a centered circular optic. You can even read the rigid industries on that circuit board inside, just a really nice touch. So really nice classic design, but that also means no interchangeable lens, no newer features. They do have some surface mounts, but also no magnet mounting options. These do come in a number of colors, and there's actually a high power, which we have here today, and a lower power model. Now, in terms of the build here, we have very similar to Baja, actually, where we have an encapsulated back. It's screwed together, but then they still encapsulate it, which is really nice. Not something you'll see on something cheaper, of course. And then we just have that top lens with the O-ring as well. Now, in terms of performance, these are also gonna be in that four to five watt power level, like Baja and KC. These are gonna achieve a 315 peak lumen output, I think just because they are spreading out the LEDs, running these pretty efficiently. The white color is gonna come in at 6500K, which is a nice cool white, and the coverage is gonna be about 95 degrees. Really nice, simple circle in that relatively average spread. Finally, we've got the Diodynamics Stage Series Rock Light. And of course, I'm biased, this is the one that we assemble right here in our facility. In fact, to our knowledge, this is the only rock light on the table that's actually still assembled in the United States. And we take a lot of pride in it because we really designed a new rock light from the ground up for this series. So first of all, you can see the shape is that Ico bezel styling, which matches the rest of our stage series products. We thought that'd be fun, a nice way to match the styling and not be too obtrusive. It's still generally that square in size. Now, one interesting thing here right from the start is that our lenses are interchangeable like KC, but that's not even really needed to keep a seal. You can unclip each lens and you'll see that we do have an O-ring seal right here and a rubber stopper in the center points, but these are more of just a dust cover. The inside is actually completely encapsulated with a clear material. So even if moisture gets through this dust cover here, the light itself is completely sealed with no air pockets, no air gaps at all, and it'll keep working. That was something that took us a long time to get right with those LEDs completely sealed, but it should provide the highest durability possible. Another thing we took some time on is the mounting accessories. You can actually use that center piece to mount this to all kinds of different accessories, including a surface mount, a flush mount, and a really nice overmolded magnet mount adapter as well. So we've tried to make it as easy as possible to install this either with what's in the box or with a number of accessories. Now, in terms of function, we've got a really unique feature on these as well. And that's because this is actually a three pin connector. It's not just two wires. We've included a high power and a low power setting on these. And that's because the low power is actually about the same brightness as a lot of other options. You might not need the full 10 watts of power of this thing if you're just sitting around a campsite and need a little illumination. So we've got the high power, low power, and ground right in the connector or with bare wires. You can choose which level of output you'd like, but for that high power level, again, 10 watts of power over double the operating power of anything else in this category, and that's gonna provide 1,100 peak lumens of output. Now that will drop a bit over time as this thing heats up, but keep in mind, you mount this to metal, you can get the maximum output constantly. Now our white color is gonna come in right under that 6,000K mark, just a really nice color, again, matching other Stage Series products. And the other big feature of this rock light is the coverage. At 120 degrees, it's gonna spread light better than any other option we've seen. And that's thanks to our diffused lens on top, as well as an actual optical feature that's designed into that lens. Overall, I hope you'll agree that there's definitely some compelling features in this option on the market. We really try to make something unique with a couple of new features, new innovations that might help you get light where you need it with these rock lights. But in any case, there's quite a few options, different styles available to you if you're looking to add light on your vehicle or just around your work, shop, campsite. The applications for these are endless and that's the great thing about rock lights. You can find more about the Stage Series rock lights at DiveDynamics.com and pick up a set there or at a dealer near you. Thanks for watching.